Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to drywall finish a ceiling for beginners. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to give you a sneak peek of how to drywall finish a butt joint on a ceiling. All right, so uh, this is a little unconventional, but it works for me. I'm going to put the mud on with a 12 inch tape and knife and then bed it with my six inch. I'll be using a FibaFuse drywall tape. It's a fiberglass mat, not a mesh. Works great on drywall finishing. I'll also be using a quick setting joint compound. It's a 45 minute hot mud made by sheetrock called Easy Sand 45. I have more in depth videos on both of those products. I'll leave links to the videos down below in the description. All right, like I said, I'm gonna show you an easy way for beginners to drywall finish a ceiling. I found that using the 12 inch knife can really help a beginner get the mud up there and get the tape bedded right off the get go. So basically you just wanna get your mud up there, fill your knife not completely full of mud, just kinda of control it, keep it in the center, and you're gonna come back and wipe it down. Again, it's a 45 minute quick setting mud. You can also use a premix of all purpose joint compound or a all purpose light for bedding the tape. So now I'm just gonna go back and kind of smooth it out. The tapered joints are not completely full with mud. We just want a, a pretty thin base to lay the tape in. I'll be using a FibaFuse tape, but you could also use a paper tape using this technique. Luckily, this ceiling is just under eight feet high, so I can catch it from the ground. I don't have to wear stilts or get on a walk platform or anything. Basically, you just want to get your, your tape started, kind of get a wipe on that, just to stabilize the tape. So let this roll of fiber fuse or paper tape, whichever you're using, just kind of roll in your fingers and walk it. Now, if you're not lucky enough to have a low ceiling, you can get a walk board or even a ladder, whatever's best for you. You're just gonna have to do the paint the taping in sections so notice that I started in the center and went one way now I'll start in the center and go the other way this keeps the tape from crinkling or getting wrinkles in it so you just want to kind of apply some pressure to the tape I'm gonna add a little bit more mud just so there's no dry spots on this first coat what you want to do is just keep it nice and clean. You don't want any humps, bumps, ridges. Just want to apply a pretty decent amount of pressure and remove some of the mud from underneath the tape and also on top of the tape. You don't want it floating in a big bed of mud. So right. just like that, Pretty that good. entire joint is bedded with the fiber fuse tape. Let's go do another one. I'm not gonna show all these joints, but I'll show you one more, and then we'll get into the sneak peek of my next video coming out of how to do the butt joints. So again, I'm adding mud just to the very tip of my knife, and then placing it in the center of the joint. This also fills any little gaps along the joint a garage door and opener, any screws wire, that are within that area. Vein. Pretty long joint. This is a 5 8 inch fire rated drywall. This fiber fuse is super good for beginners because it's so thin and you, it just doesn't leave big humps. It's great for drywall finishing and repairs. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and also click that bell notification 
because I got lots more videos coming up. I got some videos using the Columbia Tomahawk skimming blade. And I'm also going to do some giveaways where you're going to get to pick out what size Tomahawk you'd like if you win. Going to have two of those to give away and also a swag pack from Columbia Tools with a hoodie, a hat, and a t-shirt. This uh, garage door wire is kind of a pain. I'd like to just cruise with the tape, but I'm not going to be able to, so I'm going to have to stop each time. No big deal. There's all kinds of obstacles on this garage ceiling. Here I am smoothing out what I just applied in the center of the seam. Set my mud down. Got my six inch knife. Got my fiber fuse. You want to place it right in the center. And then just apply a pretty decent amount of pressure. You want that tape to stay and get completely bedded in the 45 minute mud or the pre-mixed joint compound if that's what you're using. The only thing you don't want to do if you're using paper tape is go back over it with a little bit of mud. Just leave the paper tape raw after you bed it. The fiber fuse, you can add just a little bit of mud after it's bedded on the first coat. Tear super easy with your drywall taping knife. That's how I always tear it, is just right there with my knife. All right, so we got the tape in. I'm just gonna start in the center again and then work my way back the opposite direction. Applying a good amount of pressure. Don't wanna leave any ridges. It's just repetition. The more you do this, the better you get. want to make sure there's no bumps I'm not gonna to have to sand this sealant at all I will be doing a skip trial texture so I don't have to sand at all if I keep the work nice and clean and after it's dry you can come back and just scrape off any uh, excess joint compound all right so there is the seams all right so the process for the butt joints is pretty much the same you just want to get a pretty consistent swath of joint compound over the butt joint gonna want about an eighth of an inch to bed the fiber fuse tape in so you want to leave like I said about an eighth of an inch of mud want to keep it nice and consistent there is a slight hump on this butt joint from the framing underneath that's why you want to keep your butt joints to a minimum but with this mud and the super thin tape, it'll be nice and flat when we're done. All right, so i um, gonna bed the fiber fuse. Again, you just wanna get kind of a, a little bit. I'm not applying all the pressure right now. I'm just getting it a little bedded, and then I'll go over it. Then once you've got it bedded, you just wanna smooth it out. You don't want any high spots or any ridges or any line. Stay tuned for that butt joint video coming out next week. And if you're new to the channel, my name's Paul and I've been a drywall and painting contractor for over 20 years. If you're looking to step up your drywall, texturing, or painting game, be sure to hit that subscribe button in the center of the screen now to keep up with all my latest videos. Look me up on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Thanks so much for watching.